The oyster has always been the keystone species of this harbor. In the 1600s, when the first Dutch explorers came here and had documented the area, they documented 220,000 acres of oyster reef and quite a biodiverse habitat. Over the course of time, people discovered that they're delicious. But with the amount of people that were coming to New York City and living here, we started to also overfish them, as well as starting to dump our sewage, our garbage, and everything else into our harbor. I'm really proud of being a part of this project, especially because I think it really empowers the public. I think that it's important for New Yorkers to know that they can actually make a change in their environment. So it really all begins with the restaurants that we're partnered with. And we're partnered with over 70 restaurants in New York City. And every week we collect up to 8,000 pounds of shell. And we currently, till date, have collected over 1.3 million pounds of shell, which is quite remarkable. And then in other segments, we have shell that's already been here for a year. And the, ones, the younger ones are gonna be sitting here for at least a year before we take them to our lab. And then from the lab, we're gonna inoculate them with the larvae. And after they've grown there for a couple of months, we can take them to our different reef sites. My name is Agatha Poniatowski. I'm the Education Outreach Coordinator here at the Billion Oyster Project. I'm 23. So right now we're standing on Pier 101. Off of this pier we have some of our oyster research stations hanging. When you pull up a cage, folks typically see it and it's covered in mud and they're like, no, I don't want to touch that, it's gross. But then you open it up and you say, look at this, look at this, look at this organism, hold this crab. Their faces light up and by the end of it you can't even get that cage back in the water because they're just so excited to investigate every little bit and piece. Here in New York City we have over 70 schools involved in the Billion Oyster Project and that specifically means that they have adopted oyster research stations. The students when they have the opportunity to actually engage with our environment they get so excited and it really gives them some kind of ownership over New York Harbor itself, and so they become stewards just by interacting with it. An individual adult oyster is capable of filtering 50 gallons of water or more, and within that filtering comes the removal of excess nitrogen, the removal of excess phosphate. That's why the oyster is the keystone species here, because it's invaluable in terms of what it provides to the ecosystem. My name is Steven Villegas, I'm 21, and I'm a research associate technician here at the Billion Oyster Project. I grew up in New York City. Um, while I was in high school, I started liking biology, and specifically conservation biology a lot. And my biology teacher at the time had told me about the Billion Oyster Project. Um, my junior year and it really surprised me that there was such a big conservation project going on in New York City. It hadn't ever really crossed my mind that I could practice conservation biology in the city where I grew up. There are a lot of ways to actually help us in our initiative but also our harbor as a whole. One way is to get involved with the Billion Oyster Project and that could either be with volunteering here with our program. So we have volunteer days throughout the whole summer so if folks want to come with their students, if they want to come with their the whole family, we totally accept that and it's amazing because we just have tons of volunteer days and tons of people coming here. We often get fully booked which is great. We need a lot of help in our initiative, right? Because we are a growing organization and some of these initiatives are a lot bigger than the 34 people that we've got here on staff. So we absolutely need every hand that we can get. Folks are building cages, they're putting oyster shells, or they're working on the shell pile. There's so many different opportunities and ways that our community here in New York City can get involved in our project. I have a lot of friends and family here in New York that are always asking like how they can get involved or wondering how they can 
be environmental stewards of the New York City waterways or just in terms of New York City nature. And I'm really happy that I can tell them now that they can come and volunteer for the Billionaire Sewer Project.